Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Total Bro Hammer, and it is Team Kings Week. So let's go ahead and get on with it. Looks like we're fighting Ose on Vulture Ridge. Looks like we got a little bit of Bretonia action going on. So what do we want to bring against Bretonia? Honestly, a bunch of Tomb Guard could work really well. Um, for our caster, we're obviously going to want to, if we're being completely competitive, go with Fate of Bina. There's really not another choice here. Although, a light wizard could be pretty good too, so I guess there is another choice. And as for the rest of our army, let's go ahead and... You know what we'll do? Let's cut two of these guys. We're going to have a mobile firing squad in the center here. Protected by some sepulchral stalkers. They do have a charge defense against all. And this guy, well, I really want Cetra, but he's just too expensive at this point. We'll go ahead and grab these guys since they have uh, poison, and that'll be that'll be pretty good. We'll, make, we'll go ahead and upgrade these sepulchral stalkers to some necropolis knights. That should be okay, and we really just gotta worry about the knights here. We can shoot him down pretty good to Chosen of Gods and Ushapti. We can summon some guys to go after Bretonian archers. We're gonna sit the Sepulchral Stalkers and Necropolis Knights on top of our on top of our bows to keep them safe from flying goon squads. Hopefully we have what it takes here. We definitely don't want to bring anything in the air. Could just bring another we got for our spells. Got some decent spells here. Uh, we have the money. Might as well go ahead and upgrade you to a uh, to a tomb guard with halberd as well. So four tomb guard with halberd, four spears, and then a few units that can do some specialty type things. Looks good to me. Let's try it. Let's try it. Pretty open map here kind of going with a defensive geometry so let's think about what would be good against this build maybe a lot of archers would be good against it perhaps um I don't feel like the air squad is going to be too good the sepulchral stalkers although he probably won't send his charge bonus against them they do have charge defense versus all and actually something we could try doing here is going like really wide spearmen and a bunch of necropolis knights with halberd that could possibly work too. <laughs> we'll have to uh we'll have to try it out against the Bretonians. People usually don't expect necropolis knights with halberd, so. I've also really been liking chariots a lot. In the last game we casted yesterday, chariots just did some amazing work against Hiles. Oh, let's just wait for my opponent to load in here. Looks like uh, it's not going to tell us how many troops he has yet. So if I was going to go differently against Bretonia, yeah, it'd probably be either a bunch of sepulchral stalkers or a bunch of Acropolis Knights of Halberd. Sepulchral stalkers can be really good because of that charge defense against large. And if those Bretonian Cav don't get their charge defense against large, look at these guys' stats. 78 weapon strength with a... Uh, anti-large bonus so it won't tell us right now but I'm going to assume it's like at least 12 which will give them pretty good melee attack let's see if it's going to tell me now that he's loading in they also have a poison missile damage attack which I've never found to do that much but at the very least it does magic damage so uh, bonus for large are 21 so they're actually gonna have a 50 melee attack against Cav with a uh, with 99 weapon strength so that's pretty good. Of course, these are the eyes of the desert, so keep that in mind. They are better than... They're more clever. They're better than the average bear. I meant to bring this guy on a chariot, actually. I meant to bring him on a chariot. So we're going to have you guys back here, in between these... These friends here. We're going to have our spearmen and halberds take the front here. That looks pretty good. We'll have a nice front line right there, and then we will have our Alberts and Spearmen all around as well. 
We're actually going to leave these openings up, so I'm hoping for some cab charges so that we can get some counter cab charges. But I have to keep them close enough for Aragoon squads to be collapsed in on. Uh, Fate of Bino will be pretty good against the cab. We'll also have a bunch of physical resistance, and we can summon up some zombies. I mean, skeletons. So, as well as you Spirit Leash, probably on its caster, unless it's the life caster, then we'll probably just save it for... Eh, we'll probably just use it on its caster. But at first, we're going to save it for the Fate of Bina, of course, and then let's get going. Have you guys move up here, and let's get over this hill. So it looks like Air Squad, no surprise there. No surprise at all. And let's... Yeah, I should have run. The Nets would have been good, too. The Nets would have definitely been good. So he's going to do some early scouting here. Let's see if I can get some... Get some decent damage. That wasn't the one I was aiming for, even. But, you know, damage is damage. Let's go ahead and move up over here. You get you guys up right here. And keep our formation moving. So I'm not going to waste too much time on them here. Looks like we have... Hmm... Interesting. Interesting stuff. Let's go ahead and shoot at them. them. And get the rest of you right here. Oh, Looks like we do have some cav, which we're going to just nice Aaron say. Eh? Who's his lord? It's a Fey. We'll worry about the Fey. Go ahead and get you guys in here. Get you guys this way, you guys this way, you guys this way. And we'll just go ahead and send these sepulchral suckers to do a quick charge right there since nothing's stopping us really. Where is Arkin? He's doing fine. Go ahead and hit you guys up. Get you guys back here. And get you guys coming through onto them. We'll go ahead and pop this right back here. Oh man, look at all those guys. Did not see all of them. Go ahead and have all you guys start shooting at these. Are these Knights Aaron too? Oh, those, are, those are the Grail Knights. That's what we need to be hitting. So let's get you guys out. You guys are doing pretty good against their calf. Alright, he's going after our Lord. To be expected, let's go ahead and get some physical resistance here. We'll pop that Fate of Buna on the Grail Knights. And actually have you guys go get into right here. Let's actually go after his lord here. You guys need to come get in melee on these guys as well. Let's get our tomb guard up here. Arkin needs to get out of there. And we'll go ahead and pop a spirit leash on the bay. It's you guys coming around this way. We'll keep on shooting out the lion hearted here since the grail knights are not doing too great. Looks like we're not going to be able to get to his lord at the moment. His cav are cycle charging all around, however, um, they're not in a great place to be quite honest. Let's get you guys out right here. And we'll do a Ushapti summon right back here. Yeah, let's try to break this center pocket. We'll actually send them after the Fey if she decides to stick around. Get you guys out right here. You guys are coming around fine. You can go shoot at them. Actually, you can go shoot at them. You can move around this way. You can actually shoot at them. Let's get you after the Fey. And let's actually get the rest of you after them. Pop a Spirit Leech right there. Get you on them. Get you guys coming around here. What are these? Tomb Guard? Yeah, let's keep the team guard moving up here. Vocal stalkers can actually get into melee. We'll run into our tomb guard. He is running. Just running all through here. What can he do? Let's keep on working on his lord. And we'll actually pop this right here to keep everyone alive. Get our tomb guard, bring him back here. And what we'll actually do is we'll have our tomb guards right there. Let's get all of you guys, all our anti-large back here. We'll start shooting at these knights of the Lionhearted. He keeps on going through the ranks, but uh, let's actually take care of his lord. That wasn't the best. Uh, ooh, if we can get another Spirit Leech on the Fey, 
Unfortunately, they are not shooting. They are approaching in melee. Well, that sucks for us. His infantry is just wiping us out here, though. Let's go ahead and try to take out these guys real quick. Have Arkin come this way. We'll get another Spirit Leech on his Lord. You guys get in there. And you guys get in there. Alright, let's go ahead and shoot at the fake. All you guys on him. Where is Arkin? Oh, he's in here. Let's get him fighting. We'll summon up some more skeletons right here. Please summon fast enough. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go ahead and shoot at the nice of the Lionhearted and have all you guys go after them. We're going to bring our Bogey Shafty up this way. Arkin can actually go after him and we'll pop this for the physical resistance which will be very nice. Yes. This is a tough one, eh? Move our Bogey Shafty out this way. The infantry fight is just not going well at all. Go ahead and have you guys go after the Knights of the Lionhearted. You guys can go after the Knights of the Lionhearted. Let's keep our Bosh Yushapti moving. Ugh, this is tough. This is tough. He just keeps on pulling out after him, and he's faster than our guys, so. It's not working out great. Let's get my Lord moving into all my infantry, you guys. I don't know where y'all are going. But let's go ahead and shoot at them. Our infantry are just completely surrounded. We really need to take out the Fey. But we're just having so much problems here. Let's bring all you guys through here. He's just pulling through with all his cav. I can't get away from him. Nah, pulling through never works for me. And look how fast they just, just slaughtered their guys. Yep, looks like this is going to be a loss. So if you have any ideas on how to break Bretonia, I still have not been able to beat him. It really sucks. Let's go ahead and start working on his cab here. And yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe we still have a chance. Barkin does not get killed by these guys. I wish our bogey shot team would fire. That's for sure, though. At the very least, it looks like Arkin is doing better than. Uh, man, if we can take down the Fey, actually, maybe we have a chance. Oh, there goes our curse, which is going to be amazing right here. And probably take care of the rest of those cab. Um, I think we are going to be able to take care of the Fey here, which could also be rather huge. Ah, uh, it didn't look, doesn't look like that was enough, though. Does not look like that was enough. Yep, that's going to be a defeat for us. So, guys, I, like I said, haven't been able to defeat Bretonia yet. Not sure what I can really do. Their cab just kind of pulled through everything. Oh, you shafty definitely aren't the way to go. Maybe trying all the Necropolis Knights with halberds and whatnot would work. Surprisingly, the infantry did really well. Maybe we should also grab a Tomb Scorpion. Do, just do some fear and terror on, on the infantry. Sniping out the Fey is definitely not working. Go ahead and pop that, though. Try to take the fate down here. And we will fight to the very end. We'll at least give it that, but it is indeed over. His uh, foot squires were just were able to cut through all of our infantry pretty good there. And we were never able to take out the fey with anything, so... Tough stuff, tough stuff. Anyway, guys, that's going to be day two. Sorry, it's not day two, but uh, day five of Bretonia Week as he comes down here and continues to goon my lord. Hmm. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking maybe going a lot of halberdiers like we did against the High Elves yesterday. We'll go ahead and concede defeat because we only have some unbreakable skeletons left and look at where we went wrong here. So it definitely wasn't the best place to take an engagement. The Foot Squires did really well. The Knights Errant. Honestly, I'm. Knights of Lionhearted and the Grail Knights were just able to pull through everything and take out my Chosen of the Gods and Yushati Bright Bows so fast. They didn't get all that much done. They got some good damage in here and there, but. Yeah, they just. They just weren't doing it for me. They were able to get around, and his infantry was just able to slaughter mine, so. Uh, the Paladins make a pretty good goon squad here. Personally, I go for Lewin in this matchup. But uh, yeah, it worked out great. Anyway guys, that's going to be all for today. See you all in the next one.